again? Aiden. I really need to talk to you. Excuse me, Natalia's office? Follow me. Hello, this gentleman is here to see Natalia. Of course. Is she expecting Excuse you? Me. Have a seat. I'm listening, so what is all this about? Actually, I don't even know where to start. Since I broke up with Celine. You didn't break up. You dumped her. Yeah, I did. I dumped her. But I was exhausted as well, Ken. I couldn't see her as a girlfriend anymore. When she recovered, I was exhausted. Enough with this already. Get to the point, because I don't have a lot of time. Well, I regret it. What is it you regret? I left for two years. I left everything behind. I ran away, but I've been thinking lately about everything that I've been through. And in the end, I realized my mistake. I should never have left her. It's been two years, but I could never love anyone else. I could never forget her. Is there a point to this conversation? I mean, bringing up the past. What is the point, Aiden? I sent flowers on her birthday. I was going to call her as well, but I couldn't. And then I saw her today, and I truly realized that I still love Celine. Yeah. And so, I don't know what to do anymore. I thought it would help if I talked to you. We were good friends once. At one time, not now. Have you finished talking? If you ask me, I see no reason at all for you to seek out Celine. But you probably know that. I understand you. You have a right to be angry with me. Have a good day. Hello, ma'am. You must be wondering why I called you here to meet with me today. I asked you to help my sick daughter. But what did you do? You went and proposed to Celine. I've been wondering, what was the intention behind asking her to marry you? Why did you do that, young man? I did it for Celine's sake. Hmm. Let me tell you what I think. You were trying to take advantage of the situation. No, no, I really love your daughter. You were trying to rush into a marriage, even though you know that Celine is very ill. 
She's fighting just to stay alive. Did you really think that she'd want to marry you? She needs to get better first. You had to persuade her to get treated. That was all I asked you to do. I thought that if I, if I proposed, she wouldn't feel so burdened. And that I could persuade her. But it turns out I was wrong. She didn't tell me anything. She didn't say anything at all. So what you're telling me is that this is why you proposed to her? That's right. I can't believe you. I wanted you to try and help her. I wanted you to make her happy. That's all I asked, but you went and made her sadder. And so you know, even if Celine had said yes, I would have never let her marry you. I don't ever want to see you anywhere near Celine again. You may leave. <laughs>